what's going on sunshines welcome or welcome back to another video um i don't really have much to share with you guys today but i did want of course to come on here and kind of explain to you guys what i've been going through for about a couple of days i'm pretty sure you guys are aware that my pink my down page was deactivated by instagram unfortunately um i did receive an email back from them and they did tell me that someone reported my page for unlawful content now what does that all entail it could be a variety of different things but i am familiar with you know a lot of the, maybe the reason behind it because a lot of the pink ladies have been coming forward sharing with me their experience with going with you know through something similar to this um to so my understanding is that i am a threat to the community not just the pink community, but the community of Instagram. And I was sharing unlawful content, meaning things that could have harmed either one of you guys. So that's where we are. I'm hurt. I'm pissed. I'm frustrated. Um, I could even go so far as to say, um, I, I'm not even going to say that. Um, because it was so unnecessary. If you are so envious and jealous of me that much, why not just remove yourself? Unfollow unsubscribe however but to so far as go as to get my page taken down and i didn't get a warning a lot of the ladies were saying that they was getting warnings like a seven day suspension 30 day suspension not for me they completely said they would not restore my page i put in so much work on that page and you guys know how long i've been thriving to become you know part of something you know and I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm mad as hell and just lucky for that person because I don't know who it is. I just had an idea. That could be just, you know, but allegedly whatever I've done, um, it rubbed them the wrong way so much to where they wanted to report, the, you know, my page. Um, but as you guys know, I've created a new one. Um, make sure I leave all that stuff down below. So, yeah, that's where we at. I haven't had much sleep. I've been really just focused on that because that is a big part of my income. Um, yeah, it did affect my income. And um, I'm just trying to regain those connections um, with companies and a lot of you guys. So if you're not following me over there, please consider doing so. I'm trying to put back as much content on the new page that I had on my old page but unfortunately they are not even allowing me to do that um and a lot of that content i don't have no more because it was you know filling up my memory um so yeah um yeah so that's where we at today um i had a lot of things in rotation to do but i like i said i've been sitting around on emails on calls trying to do whatever i need to do to bounce back from this um luckily one company did hit me back up and was like hey we try to message you but this is what we got luckily they reached out to me so any companies that have reached out to me work with me and we want to continue our relationship please just email me do all the normal things um that you have already done and we could continue this uh, relationship um before as my pink madame page like i said i will make sure i leave that new page down below i don't want to talk more about it because i get really really angry i'm human i so I know a lot of people was like, don't worry about it, you'll bounce back. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. I always felt like I had to fight for a place. I know my worth, but I always felt like I had to fight for a place. So it's not that easy. But I will say I wanted to come on here just to give you guys an explanation because y'all deserve that. Because a lot of you guys have really, truly been rocking with me and supported me thus far. And I really do appreciate you guys so so much this is just a fresh start new year fresh start that's the best way i could put it to just be positive about the situation however like i said i had a lot of things lined up for today i was supposed to have been working in the front part of the house but just 
been working on this. So it kind of just disturbed me and just rerouted me. And a lot of things, I was supposed to have got things done here in the babe cave. That's, that didn't happen. I was supposed to have been in some stores trying to get some things for the babe cave. That didn't happen. But I'm going to share with you guys um, just two things. Nothing major, but like always, I like to share with you guys just in case you may or may not be in the market for any of these things. So I did get lucky to find the cute heart dishware from Target. I know last year I wasn't able to get it because it was sold out. Well, luckily for me, I have a um, a pink sis, Keisha, um, that posted it on her stories, and it, rem it reminded me to go get it. So I was looking to order it online and do a store pickup. It's so cute, you guys. I hope everybody can get their hands on it who likes cute stuff like this. You guys know I have more of a contemporary, modern aesthetic in my kitchen. However, and I have all white dishes. However, this is mainly going to be just cute things that I can do what I do in the babe cave or whatever. So what it is is a melamine, baby, blush, pink, however, um, heart-shaped plate. Really, really good quality by the brand Threshold. Here's the SKU number. I'll make sure I leave all these links down below for you guys. But it was only $3, and it's great quality. I do love the cute little ridges in it, kind of making it like a 3D effect. I just love this. And here's the coordinating bow. The same price. Here's the SKU number, just in case. But I am going to leave everything down below. So I'm so happy I got my hands on that, I do have a red set from last year because I was forced. I wanted it so bad, I was forced to just get a red one. And it's not bad, but you guys know, we pink girlies over here. So, thank you, Keisha, for reminding me to get that. Next, I want to share with you guys some more sneakers. Y'all know I'm a sneakerhead, but the color is going to trip you out. Y'all probably have already seen it on my Little Shine page, which is my lifestyle page. If you're into all things lifestyle, home decor, follow me over there. Like, I would love to have you over there as well. It's not pink. It's not girly. But I do share a lot of more of my lifestyle, like restaurants I try out, clothing pieces, um, more family-oriented things over there. And, um... Just like day in the life type stuff. So if you're into all that type of stuff and home decor, especially home decor, especially like modern contemporary home decor, check me out over there. I would love to have you back to the shoes. So I was wanting another pair of sneakers because I always get a pair of sneakers around like my birthday, Christmas, sometimes just because, because Chip know I love sneakers and he'll just get them for me. Sometimes I just buy them for myself because I've been rocking sneakers for quite some time now. I used to be a heel girl all the way to like five inches. I got heels in there now. I got heels in my garage, brand new, but I can't walk in them as like I used to, you know what I'm saying? Because of, you know, my feet be always swollen and stuff. Anywho, so I got more invested in sneakers. So Chip wanted me to have these sneakers and I'm not, y'all yeah, yeah, see, I did a whole reel on them. You guys, I got me some blue sneakers. So what they are is the Air Jordan 1 Mid and Black Royal and Black Royal White. That's what it says right here. And I got an eight and a half in men, which is equivalent to a 10 in women. But y'all, y'all know this is not my color. But I actually like it. Like, I really think I could do some things with this. Like, cute graphic tees, hoodie, sweatshirt. You know, keep it cute and keep it casual. That style is really, really trending right now. Like, even the youngins are really stepping up their wardrobes by rocking those trendy, more casual looks. And I'm here for it because I'm all about casual looks right now. You know, I'm mostly home all the time. When I do get out, this... This state is not really a high fashion state. Maybe in Dallas, but in my city of where I'm at, it's not big on high fashion. Like, you can be cute, you can be trendy, and all that good stuff, but they're not in stilettos, they're not in glitter blazer, they're not in slack. Like, no, the ladies are very, very chill and relaxed, and I love it. Like, you can still elevate your look by being casual 
And I know I've been sleeping on myself by not really implementing my fashion sense in my content. And I'm going to do better at that because when I do get dressed, I get dressed. Even if I have to toot my own horn, I get dressed. And it's mainly because I'm here at, you know, home all the time working. Like, I don't have an office job. I work from home. So, I'm going to stop sleeping on myself. So, 2024, and I want you guys to hold me to it. We're going to get some fashion content out because I really do want you guys to see what, you know, what my style is. You know, I could be casual. I could be, you know, a little bit more sexy, sophisticated. And I, I ain't finna wear no body con dress. You ain't finna see me in there. No shade to folks wearing body con dresses. I just, that's just not my thing. For one, I'm not gonna say I don't have the body for it, but I don't have the body for it. But I just think that's just so 1990. You know what I'm saying? But some ladies can rock them and make them look good. They throw on blazers with them. Even so far as wearing sneakers with them. I just think that's just outdated. Anyway, Chip got me the sneakers, and I think they're really, really cute. I don't know what I'm going to wear with them yet. I mean, with this color, you can rock a lot of different things, like all the cute graphic tees that's out at Hot Topic, Walmart. You can really, really jazz these babies up. So, yeah, I got me some more sneakers to add to my shoe collection. I think I've showed you guys this once before, but if not, I'm going to show them again in my upcoming room tour i know y'all are waiting for this let me just get some more things situated let me get you probably can't see that other ikea piece they say the 17th hopefully it won't take that long i've been checking the website here and there just in case it did come in early so let me just get some more things situated and then i promise i'm gonna get this room tour out for you guys not much has changed besides the island but i want to get the island back filled up not back filled up, but just filled up with, you know, some more um, clothing pieces. I just want to make sure it's polished for you guys. I don't want to have nothing, you know, excuse my language, but I just don't want to have ass nothing. So, yeah, that is where we at today. Like I said, I don't have much. I don't because I've been so focused on that pay situation. Uh, but I do know I wanted to share these shoes with you. And those cute plates, because I think every girl and girl need those. Like, who wouldn't want to sit at the breakfast nook with a cute bowl of oatmeal in a heart-shaped bowl? Like, I would, <laughs> you know? But I was thinking if there's something else I could share with you guys, but I don't want to get so far off in it. Then I kept rambling, kept rambling, and it just ended up being an hour-long video, and I know I'm already late to posting. So I just want to make sure I got my thoughts and my, my, um, just get the vibe and the, the mood changed around here before I do another video in more detail of some things. Because right now, I'm, I'm, I'm not where I need to be. I'm not where I need to be because I'm pissed. Like I said, I am pissed, you know, but, huh, <laughs> mm. yeah, unlawful content? Like, for real? Like, y'all, like, I'm just out here showing <sighs> the things I wish I could say. But if you know, you know. And if y'all know anything about me, I may be a lot of things, but I'm not out here because I done seen some girls. I'm talking about I'm, but they pages up. That's a whole nother video. It's shiny. They got their priorities messed up. But yeah, let me get off here. I think Chip did mention that we were going to go to Home Depot so I can go ahead and get that plexiglass for the coffee bar um, because I'm starting to notice it has some 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 splatters from my coffee and I don't want it to stain it as well as I'm going to get some plexiglass for the island. Um, I know I was telling you guys I'm going to put some glass on top to just make it more smooth, but I think I'm just going to go with a high quality plexiglass and that little strip. That was down the side. Let me show y'all right quick. Y'all remember this right here I was telling y'all about? We're going to fix that. We're going to make that like more like a solid piece. And, you know, just a piece that looks, you know, intentional. Not like homemade or anything like that. Um, Excuse my hair, y'all. I, I didn't get a chance to wash it. So I got this hat on to kind of cover up some of my you know, my wild hairs and everything, but I'm going to give it another month. I think they still look good. My husband ready for me to take them down. I'm like, boy, bye. Who? 
Um, but anyway, I'm getting off subject. We're going to fix the island. That little strip piece that's right there is bothering me. I am going to get something to make it look more uniform and make it look intentional so it just won't look homemade. Oh, why well, sit here in front of me? Y'all, I got this cute little glass, eyeglass, sunglass holder from Amazon. It's been in my Amazon's um, cart <laughs> uh, for a while, and I kept seeing a lot of bad reviews about it, saying that it wasn't functional and all that good stuff, but I put it together just fine. They were saying it was wobbly. It doesn't come with instructions. However, it's been pretty much self-explanatory. Like, you really have to be just, you know, I don't know if sound mean, but just dingy to not be able to put that together because it's very much self-explanatory. But I just wanted something to show off all of my 5-2 glasses. You guys know I did that 5-2 eyeglass collaboration. Thank you, 5-2, for these beautiful glasses. And I really wanted to display them because I do change my glasses out frequently. I know for the most part, you guys do see me in these glasses right here because these are really pretty much my favorite but I do change them all according to my outfit for the day and so forth. So I will make sure I leave that down below because I really believe it's cute. Even if you don't wear eyeglasses, all your favorite designer glasses, like I have some really cute Burberry glasses right here that I could be displaying. Um, well, I have some Gucci. I have some vintage Chanel right here. I think this was like my first um, luxury item. These um, vintage Chanel pieces. Let me try it on for you guys because I don't think I've ever done that. That's what I'm saying. I want to get more into detail of my room and my pieces and stuff to share with you guys. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, this hair is not doing it any justice. This is so cute and because it's looking funky on my face. How I look, y'all. These are so cute. Oh, this hat is making it look real funky and making me get like a box head. But this is so cute. Oh, I can't stand it. It's so cute and I just can't believe I don't wear them as much, but I just, being that they vintage, well, that's what they say they vintage. Um, I've had them for years, but even when I purchased them, they was older because I did get them second hand, um, but I got them intentionally for the vintage look. So yeah, I want to um, start showing y'all more of my pieces. I'm trying to put this back. I want to show y'all more of my pieces and get in depth of my room, finish off my living room. I just really want to be, oh, on the ball this year. I really, really do. And I know y'all gonna hold me to it because there's a lot of you guys who do remind me, hey, Sean, you said you're gonna show this, you're gonna do this. So I don't mind y'all, hold me to it. Keep me on my toes. But that's all I wanna share with you guys today. I know I'm doing a lot of rambling. I just feel like I just need to get to a place with you guys so y'all will understand where I am and who I am. I did also, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off here. I did tell myself that once I got to a certain amount of subscribers, I was going to give y'all the book of shine. And what I mean by that is like I was going to let you guys in a little bit more. Not much because I want to still keep my life private. But I signed up for this. I signed up to be on YouTube to be a content creator. And I wanted y'all to get to know who I am. And I know a lot of you guys are invested in me with you guys' time. So I said once I get to a certain number, I'm going to start being a little bit more open and give y'all the chronicle of shine. You know, I'm going to get a little personal. I'm going to get a little deep. So, yeah, I don't know when that was go it's going to be. You're going to have to stick around and find out. But, yeah, I think. I'm going to do that because I feel like I have a, not a story to tell, but my story to tell. And I know a lot of you ladies have said that I have brightened your day. I have encouraged you. I have inspired you. And I feel like I have a duty. 
I feel I feel like being a YouTuber is a service. It's a service, and I want my service to be. I always felt like I had a gift of helping people. I don't know what it is. I always feel like I had this gift, this spirit of helping people, whether it's encouraging them to know their worth, encouraging them to know that they can wear certain things no matter if they're plus size. I was big on that back in Alabama. It was a lot of large plus size women that just didn't have the confidence to wear certain things, and I would show them you can wear it. It's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. I would encourage them to go get their bra size um, so they can wear the correct bras and it would make them and help them look and feel better in their clothing because this is a whole nother topic, but this is what I'm saying. I want to open up more to you guys and actually give you guys different, you know, channels of who I am, if that makes sense. Um, because there's so much I haven't shared with you guys like, a lot of you ladies was not aware that I had a store. A lot of you ladies was not aware that I was a stylist. A lot of you ladies did not was not aware that I was even a grandmother, which I've said that, you know, quite a few times in my book. But it's just, I want to make it a part of my content. Like, definitely lifestyle, such and such, such and such. However, I don't want it all over the place. You're going to get a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but it's all going to be relevant. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk more into my marriage because my marriage has not been perfect. However, it could help someone. Somebody may, may be thinking about getting married. They may be married. They having problems, or they not, or they, or they may be good. But it's some things, some kinks in their marriage or whatever. I want to tell you my story. I want to tell you like how me and you met. Like it's a lot of things I want to share with you guys, but I'm gonna keep it, you know, cute. I don't want y'all knowing everything because you know. I know it comes with a lot of judgment. It comes with a lot of poking the bear or whatever, but I just want people to be respectful. Like what I share, be respectful. Don't get on here asking me a lot of uncomfortable questions, which I'm up for the challenge, but just be respectful. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I, I plan on doing for you guys, but I'm going to do it when I get to serve number because I wanted to be like a full audience they may not make sense but just a full i don't know i don't want to say audience because i'm happy with what you know i have now however i don't know what i'm trying to say and i'm trying to be you know cute because i don't want to offend nobody everybody's easily offended these days and <laughs> one thing about me i'm gonna say what's on my heart um and i'm not gonna walk on eggshells you know with my own content but I, I do want to be respectful of you guys because I don't want to say nothing that will offend anybody whatsoever because I don't want y'all saying anything to me, you know, disrespectfully or offensive or anything like that. But, yeah, enough of that. I done held y'all up too long already. I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. What are you guys doing? Are y'all cooking? Did you come from church? Are you guys watching a movie? Are you in the yard? Well, I hope you ain't in the yard because it's cool, but... Right now in Texas, it's cool, but the sun is out. And it's pretty pleasant. You can actually go outside and sit on the porch if you choose to. Maybe like a cute little windbreak or something like that. I ain't doing that, but I'm saying you could, depending on where you are. But I just hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, y'all all have an amazing day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell them come on over and join the Sunshine Squad. And I'm going to catch you guys on my next one. Bye. Thank you.